Now Half-Life has an interesting uh, bug on it. I don't know if it's because of Steam, because it has a, a graphics driver that's not recognized, but it will not allow me to select widescreen resolutions from the options menu. When I installed Half-Life 2 for testing, it would allow me to select widescreen because the resolution of this screen is 1024 by 600. For Half-Life, I have to have it on 800 by 600. Whereas on Half-Life 2, I could actually set it to the full resolution. I'm going to go ahead and start a game in the training room. So as you can see, it, it's running pretty well. But it's, it's kind of expected for Half-Life to run well because it's such an old game. Even when there are a lot of enemies and stuff on screen, it does run pretty well. But like I said, being Half-Life 1, came out in 1998, it's not very surprising. Alright, next up I'm going to start Quake 3 Arena. Now I've modified the uh, configuration file for Quake 3 Arena to allow it to run at the full 1024 by 600 resolution. And that's why that opening video didn't play right. I'm going to go ahead and start this game. As you can see, uh, Quake 3 Arena also runs perfectly fine, even at the full resolution of the screen and with the settings maxed out. But again, it's a very old game, so it's not that surprising. So I'll go ahead and exit, and we'll switch to the next game. Which is Halo. Halo actually did not run as well as I expected it to. The system requirements for this game are actually rather low, and the EPC meets all of them, exceeds all of them. I'll go ahead and load the game here. I'm running this game at uh, VGA resolution, 640 by 480. And even at that resolution, you can see it's a little bit... When you're not looking at anything, it runs perfectly fine. But if you're looking out at everything with a bunch of enemies, there's probably about 20 enemies down there, it gets really choppy. And even this, like I said, is at 640 by 480, which is the lowest possible resolution. I have the video settings set to uh, no specular, no shadows, low particles. I have texture quality set to high because of the fact that the, the video chipset has a lot of shared memory and has a gigabyte of system memory. So even with those low settings, it still doesn't run very well. However, that being said, multiplayer runs spectacularly. I'm going to go ahead and create a LAN game really quick. And I'm going to be the only person in this game, but you can see that it runs a, a lot faster than the single player did. Even if I'm looking down with everything on the map, it's very fast. Even with a couple other people in here, it's very, very fast. Um, so I wouldn't try to play through the single player on an EPC, but for playing multiplayer, it's just fine. I have Age of Empires 2 installed on here, but I don't really need to show you what that looks like. I'm sure everybody already knows about that. Alright, next I'm going to be switching to Max Payne 2, which really surprised me because the system requirements for Max Payne 2 are a good bit higher than the system requirements for Halo. 
but Max Payne 2 actually runs spectacularly on the EPC. It's like the flagship game. If you wanted to show off to somebody how your little uh, mini laptop can actually play games pretty well, Max Payne 2 is the game to do it with because um, aside from the main menu loading screen, the, lo the loading screens in-game are very short and it can run at the full screen resolution, 1024 by 600 and uh, medium to high settings and all the settings that are either on or off you can put to on everything looks great and it runs at a very solid frame rate no matter what I, don't, I can't explain to you why it runs so much better than Halo does but it runs great I'm gonna go ahead and start a new game because uh, the opening scene has a good mixture of uh, scripted events and uh, free play events and visual effects. Let's get past this little comic. Now it's worth mentioning that this ghosting effect, this video ghosting effect that's going on right now, is done by the game. The monitor isn't actually that crappy. I'm getting a very solid frame rate right now. Obviously, it's over 30 frames per second. I have textures on high, pretty much all my settings on medium or high, and you can see it's great frame rate, and this is, again, like I said, full resolution of this monitor. All the physics and everything is on high. Just knock all this stuff over, everything works great. Another cutscene here. As you can see, the bullet time works great. Go in and out of bullet time pretty fast. Do your little crazy rolly dive thing. Totally playable. It's probably the best looking, best playing game on the EPC, so everybody that has Windows on there should try it. It's only about 1.2 gigabyte install. And then, of course, there are uh, some no CD patches out there.